Uh, he like moves a lot. Like I don't know how I'm supposed to exactly. Oh, oh, center. It was center. Right center. Okay. So, one, two, three. Is it literally just four? Wait for an opening. Ah, uh, you didn't even hit him. I know. Okay. Okay. What do you? I have to avoid the lightning. Jesus Christ, like, I don't know what to do. Because I can't... Holy shit, are you serious? Like, there's no opening to really get to him and hit him. Unless I'm just a complete idiot. Did I just not see one? No, there was, you just weren't, yeah. How do I have well, five I lives still? Am I getting, like, a lot of lives just from... Sc a score? From score? Well, I would say... Why that does that keep happening? I don't know. Hit, hit, start. Six. Okay, five again. Right. You can still got five. Yeah, those guys are part of the Hellfire Club. Motherfucker. Five. Alright. And then after, in between beating this guy and the next guy, check your score. I can't. You, it doesn't let oh, you, you press pause. Oh, you still can't? It doesn't let you press pause at all. Well, I guess. So, well, we'll see if I die on this guy again, if I still have five lives. Yeah. If maybe killing fucking old... Uh, Jesus Christ, I still had a bullet. If killing old... Hey, fuck. Killing old Iron Knuckle and then... Or fucking Iron Face or whatever, and then those putty dudes, and then this guy, like, maybe that gives me mm -hmm. enough for a one-up. Damn it. That fucking guy takes off a lot of fucking life. Mm, he's only, t uh, he takes off maybe like two pegs per head. Not yeah, this guy, the, the next Oh, one the I next had. guy, yes, he does. He takes off seems, like five pegs. It seems like I fucking turned into regular dude pretty fucking quick. Yeah, it was five, five pegs per hit. <sighs> starts back like yeah okay. and he started in the middle yeah it starts right in the middle so I'm gonna... I don't know dude we'll see what happens but I'm gonna try just swinging and seeing if I hit him at all see what happens nope did not want to do that all right let's see let's see what we got Hmm. Well, there's one hit, but it didn't do anything. So I wonder if you have to... Okay. No, that's... No, you have to wait until he's... Okay, hold on. I'll tell you. Now! Oh, maybe, yeah. Now! Oh. Okay. Okay. I think I see a pattern I can do. There you go. Yeah, all right, there all right. Is. There you go. All right, buddy. Now, hopefully he doesn't, like, get harder or faster or something like that once you beat half his life bar like I everybody think, else. Yeah, I'm sure he probably will. But we're making progress. Yes, At least I'm figuring are. out some way to hit him. Yeah. Rather than just backflipping through all his attacks. Alright. Keep it. Oh! Oh! Just. I. Shit. How do you. Oh, how do you fucking I bet hit you him? I can't hit him when he's doing the power up. Okay, okay. Okay, no. No, this is good. I've at least gotten half. Well, so I can see how many lives you have now. Four. Okay. No. Nope. I wonder if I can spam kill the putty men. Or the fucking, uh... Well, how many lives do you... Or how many points do you have to get in order to get, like, a one-up? I don't know. We've never really paid that close of attention. No, that's true. So let's see if we can be consistent this time. And <laughs> when he's got one hit left, does it go through? No. Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, thanks, game. Should I just kill a bunch of I these guys and see I what the threshold is? No, not yet. 7,000. Wait. It... Pause it. Pause it. You hit three, so that's 9,000. Wait. Now pause it. 10,000. You get 1,000 per guy. Yeah. I'd... I don't think right, so, is... because you're going to lose life yeah, trying to yeah, spam yeah, this right. shit. Yeah, it's not worth it. No. So I'm just going to have to pull it off in the next few lives. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I can. I, I think I can I think I can do this. Because at least I know the patterns for this and that next guy, like... Jesus, I hate that. The fucking... I, you really need to know your range. Mm -hmm. And it's like a little too good. So really, if I pull this off without getting hit, it's like I got hit twice on this guy. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and say you're, you might get hit once. Don't say that! I'm sorry, I'm just... What's wrong with you? Because uh, the history has shown that you get hit at least once every time. I told you! You're an asshole! That was a self-fulfilling prophecy. No, it you... wasn't! Fucking dildo bitch! I said you're only gonna get hit once. <laughs> once. Well, now I'm gonna prove you wrong and get hit twice. Don't do it! <laughs> I'm not. I hope not. See, I told you one time. I wish I could see how many lives I have still. Nope, too late. Can't do it. Ugh, he got this, this. You got it. It's just Magneto. He really does just look like Magneto. Where's the fucking X-Men when you need him? I don't know how I'm going to avoid that oscillating beam. So I wonder cool. if I can just hop over him and he'll still face the same direction? If. Or backflip around him? Maybe backflip around him, yeah. Face away from him and then backflip? Yeah, maybe. Uh, no, you know what? I would do what you were doing because every time you backflipped, he seemed to do that transportation thing. No, that's He's... fine. I want him to do that because I can just jump over him and then hit oh. him. But I'm talking about when he starts shooting the laser. Oh, yeah, I would say just, yeah, backflip just to see what he's, like, at least see his pattern. Oh, that was way too early. Yeah, just keep doing this. I mean, he's cool looking. Uh, well, of course, because Magneto is fucking cool looking. I don't know how he changed from a werewolf to this. Like... I don't think it's the same guy. I honestly don't think it's the same guy. Although I'd be very curious to see the end, to see what... Uh... Yeah, me too. Uh, to see if they show, like, a picture of him to see if it is a, a different guy. Okay. It's okay. Oh, my God. That makes sense, then, why the guy in the in the second level, it was modeled after Juggernaut. Think so? Like, like legit, that was modeled after Juggernaut. Nope. You got it. It's small jumps, maybe? And then hit him. Yep, small jumps, hit. Small jump, hit. Small jump, hit. Okay. Small jump, Yep, hit. there's, there's like, a timing to it. Okay. Yeah, th th you got him. Back into a corner. He just can't go any farther. There you go. There you go. Three more. Oh, three more. Sorry. Two, okay. Uh, so four more, four more. Oh, no, never mind. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Ah, ah, yes. Oh, boom, baby. Yeah. Fuck yes. yes the battle, battle is raged and hard. hard. Wait, raged long and hard, but Farion and his minions are no more. The world has been restored to peace oh. and the justice of, of a free, free world, world put back in place. I'm glad you're still talking like that. All is well for now, but should the forces of darkness find a new champion, there will still be one who will stand in the way. Werewolf, the unconquerable. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dig it. Oh, dig it, sucker. Oh, oh fuck, man. dude. So. <laughs> um. Um. Guess what the I, guess what the fucking thing for the the thumbnail is gonna be. Definitely, definitely these two. Fuck it, this is gonna be. Wow. That is hilarious. Mm. Nice job, fellas. Now let's go get a cheeseburger. 
<laughs> and a bad dude. Wow. Are you kidding me? Ken Fukaki. More like it's Ken seriously, Fukaki. It, does look, it looks just like Juggernaut. <laughs> it does. I'd so say this I'm guy wondering. is almost like fucking, uh, what's his face? Fire. Pyro, maybe? Maybe. I mean, maybe it was modeled after Pyro being flame. Now, yeah, now I'm curious. So who is this? I don't know. This was the goofy Metal Sagat guy. Oh, I, like I don't a know. Who that, Hulk? Yeah, I don't know who that was. No, because it seems like they were taking a lot of stuff from X Men. This That's guy. definitely. I think they just they, they just made, made somebody him, up. Yeah, they made him up. Who's the chick? Like, <laughs> it's me. You were never oh. rescuing anybody. Motherfucker. That might be Mastermind. I think that might be Mastermind. That's def- oh, fuck you and your green face and your your purple horns. No, that, that was Magneto. Yeah. Through and through, it was Magneto. He looked like Magneto. Fuck you. Son of a bitch. Wow. All Fucking right. werewolf. And then that's- it goes through the- oh. Oh, eh? Uh? Next time. No, no. No, 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 no. There was never there a next is, time. There is no next time. Thank God there was no next time. Wow. Wow, dude. Uh, there you go. Werewolf, done. the last warrior in the Fucking bank. Done. Four hours and 14 <sighs> minutes. God damn it. Why did that take so long? Motherfucker. <laughs> well, at least you can condense this probably into like three videos, though, because there's <laughs> maybe even less. Uh, I don't know about that, but I can definitely. It, it's it'll not going to be. Condensed. be the, yeah. yeah. It'll be condensed. I usually, when I edit these, truth be told, I try to just kind of keep it based on progress. Mm -hmm. And since there were only five stages, it might be a five-parter. Oh, gotcha. It will yeah. not be yeah. that long. No. I can tell you that right now. <sighs> Game 164. Wow. Werewolf the Last Warrior. There we go, man. So, Werewolf, what do you give it for a difficulty? You and I kind of talked about it a little bit. We were kind of stuck between a six and a seven. I my initial thought is seven. It's limited continues, but there are so many one ups. But you gotta fucking find them. Mm -hmm. And finding anything in this game is a pain in the ass. It's so arbitrary. It like really is. Yeah. There's no yeah. capsules. There's no. There's no real. Except for that first stage when it had the pillars, yeah. There's no way to delineate. There's no what you can yeah, hit. There's no indication of what, like something could come out of what. Like in that, like in the fourth level when you had to hit the corners of the cliffs. Mm -hmm. In what we stumbled, game we stumbled onto that by accident? Too. In what game in the world has ever had a mechanic like that? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah. So I mean, between limited continues and just how cheap and shittily this game feels to play, I feel like it's kind of a seven. Kind of a seven. It's a weird seven to me. So, so I feel like, okay, yeah, it does have, it's, it's got the limited continues. Like, you don't even get continues. You basically mm -hmm. just get lives. lives. That's it. And you start with three lives and you can get more along the way. Um, there's only five levels. It's yeah. a really short game. We could theoretically the bosses, beat this anywhere between 25 and 30 minutes. The bosses are inherently not that difficult. I don't think any boss really gave us trouble except for Fireman. the fire guy at first for you. Juggernaut guy kind of did for a little while. Yeah, once we figured out a strategy for him, it wasn't really that bad. And you're right. It's it's not even the fact that they are inherently hard. No. It definitely plays a lot into the panic factor. Well, where you make mistakes because you're panicking with how fast some of these guys move. It's not even just that, though. I don't think it's it, it has to do with the panic factor as much as it does with the poor hit detection. That how many times have we gotten close to where you think you're going to hit something, it doesn't hit them, but then you get hit in return because you're too well, close to them. Yeah, look at look at the first form of Farian. Where I'm hitting him, but at the same time, he's hitting me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I literally, like, my, my claw really didn't even touch his hitbox. Mm -hmm. But somehow I still hit him just out of reach. Yeah. So, like, 
well, you're Same right. thing none with Juggernaut. Of, none of the bosses really are that hard. No, none of them. Because even that final boss yeah. was formulaic as fuck. Mm -hmm. There was nothing to him. Once you found out what to what to do, there was really nothing to him. Everything has a really predictable pattern. The difficulty comes in the levels. The levels are disgusting. Having difficult. to know that. It, and and it's like the learning of it is like having to know that the backflip is the only thing that can save you against the, <laughs> the uh, lasers. The, the lasers. Um, trying to think. Level four. They friggin' trolled the hell out of you with those stupid piranhas. It was dumb. And made it precision based when, in fact, all the piranhas come out of those precision areas where you have to go to. I wouldn't even and say it's precision. It was luck. Mm, it was yeah. a lot of luck. Yeah. It's so just it's like, it, I just, I don't feel like it deserves a seven, but at the same time, like, I don't know if it's a, like a walk in the park that would be like just borderline, like above average. Like, I truly don't think... That's why I feel like seven's kind of a fair maybe. assessment. Because technically, eight and nine would be pretty difficult. Oh, no, I would never, so seven, I would never go that far. I feel like, like you said, it's, just, it's. I feel like it's a little bit harder than just above middle of the road, which yeah. would be a seven. Yeah. You know, because you're right. The bosses are not hard. Mm -hmm. The stages are disgusting. Like you said, those lasers, how would you know to get past them unless you backflip? The well, only reason we knew how to get past them the first time is because when we played this in our off time just for funsies... I found out you could backflip just how, by fucking around. And how many times did uh, were we screwed because we didn't have the werewolf? Because we were the guy. For a game that's called Werewolf the Last Warrior, why is being a person even an option? It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, where it's like you never want to be Dr. Jekyll because you can't do shit. It's just, it blows my mind, because he it, it, this game is literally impossible as the, per, as the, the human. Mm -hmm. Do you, like we said, do you think there's even a person who could make a human run? I don't I, think it's, any, it's not possible. I don't want to see it. Retro Challenger. <laughs> We're looking at you. Shit. I think it's literally impossible because you can't get past the lasers, for one. They're yeah. random and they will destroy you because you can't get past them without taking three or four hits. Mm hmm Yeah. What do you do? The game's impossible as know. a person. I don't it know. just doesn't make sense yeah, why need, that would even be an option. Yeah, you need the werewolf. Yeah. So I feel like they, the threshold between being a werewolf and then being a person again is way too big. It should have been like once your life, is if you're a werewolf and you take a hit at like two pegs, mm -hmm. it should automatically bring you down to one peg and you're the person. Mm -hmm. Because no matter what, as the person, you take one one or two hits, you're dead. Mm -hmm. Regardless. Yeah, pretty so much. So like why did they have to, fi why did they have to make you be the human at like five pegs? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It's stupid. I don't know. It's stupid, and that—that's why I feel like it's kind of a seven. Hmm. The no blast or whatever it was dumb. Yeah, it took way too long to use it. I'm sorry. I that's why I never used it really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I actually think seven's where it's at. Yep. Seven it is. So, <laughs> let's move on to the wonderful fun factor. <laughs> what do you give the game for fun, buddy? debating whether or not I even go as low as a two. <laughs> I'm I'm debating. Because I'm, I'm trying to think, does this game have any redeeming qualities? Okay, let's... Let's Encyclopedia Brown this bitch. Um, <laughs> let's... Um, okay, so music... Music is sucks. annoying as all get out. Stop. 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 There's three songs, yes, really. Yes, there is. Yeah, and if you count a siren going off in the background, that's a song to a apparently um so music is definitely not there game short as shit it's only five levels it's repetitive because you face the same mid boss every time yeah. and then you it, it's the same formula every time make it halfway through mid boss second half is some kind of like a, a running to get to the boss descent to get to them and then you're at the boss yeah. um so it, it never really changes um Graphics. This was 1990 and very close to 1991. So I mean, it was already on the the second half, the the, the second half of, of the the Nintendo's life cycle. Mm -hmm. So they should have had the graphics. I think the graphics are actually not terrible. They're not the greatest. No, but they're not bad. It, it, it's visually, it was an okay game. The controls absolutely were not good. sucked. No, the controls were shit. The the hit boxes and hit detection and and 
collision detection was terrible. Um, I do really enjoy the cutscenes, actually. Like, they were actually really well detailed, and they looked cool. Like, the cutscenes were actually kind of interesting, and you did so, get a pretty decent uh, story, I guess. No, the cutscenes were nice, but it really didn't have a cohesive story to it. No, the story You were just didn't. trying to stop Dr. Farian. The story... 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 Ann. <laughs> Farian. No, oh, oh, story... <laughs> the story wasn't great, but it was still cool that they at least gave you one of some sort. I suppose, And yeah. it was kind of neat that the guy got possessed in the last level. All right, even though he was an idiot. Yeah. Like, it was still kind of neat that they at least did that, because they could have just said fuck it and just mm -hmm. thrown you stage by stage, but like, the details of the cutscenes were actually pretty cool. I do like, you know, the pictures and shit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the Return of the Sinister Six did something kind of similar. Yeah. And it was neat. So, I mean, I, I give it props for that. Um, but that's pretty much where it ends. I, I'm with you. I'm kind of struggling between a two and a three. I, I don't think the cutscenes really. It didn't. It didn't save it. It's not enough to elevate it because it didn't really give anything to the game itself. Um, I don't know why, but for a game like this, you would think that I would have enjoyed seeing Magneto, Juggernaut <laughs> being my favorite character. Juggernaut. Well, I'm I'm telling you right now, they they straight up ripped off. Like, and the that brood. Was, the, the, oh yeah, the brood. I even forgot the brood. The brood's in there. When I showed you the Hellfire Club, uh, like crony yeah. guy, it's like they are literally that's those those shooters. Yeah. Um. So it's like they literally ripped them right from Marvel Comics. Um. I don't know if this game has any association with Marvel Comics. You would think that I would like the game more, but I'm almost more offended that if this isn't associated with Marvel then why in the hell would you have included them? Like, I'm just, I'm at a loss. I don't know. I am man. at a loss. So where where do we fall? Like I'm, I at, said, I'm sorry, I'm at two. You're at I'm two? I'm at two. I can't, no, I'm not going higher than that. I hated this game. I did not like it. I am inclined to agree with you. I did not. it is, I buddy. Did, I did not like it. No, no. It, it was not as enjoyable no. as... Controls were terrible. The, uh, the levels just kind of got monotonous. Um, nothing special about this game. You no. have a backflip. Whoop de fucking do. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I don't I don't really see the appeal too much. It's no. it's not that great. No. It was harder than it needed to be. It had it's funny cuz I feel like the game had the potential to be good. You know what I mean? Like the building blocks of what could make a good platformer were there. If they had cleaned up the hit detection, maybe done a little bit of better music, Data East knew what they were doing, sort of. By this point, it was yeah. I, I mean, feel it was like it could have. It was a step above like Karnov. I well, even I wouldn't go that far. I enjoyed Karnov more than this. I, well, I did because it wasn't as trollish. No, like, it, it they literally didn't try to screw you over in Karnov. No, but I I just I feel like the visuals were there. The even the characters, as lame as they were, I it was kind of neat. I feel like the building blocks were there. It just wasn't executed well. Maybe that's what it is. That's my thinking. Either way, I, I mean, didn't, I didn't like it. To me, I never really liked a lot of Data East games anyway. Like mm -hmm. Double Dragon, suck my dick. I, I honestly was thinking about that, where the Double Dragon trilogy, at least on the Nintendo one, two, and three, like I think it, it's Double Dragon is one of the more well-regarded series on the Nintendo. I think it's completely overrated. I think so. I think too. from from the first and second one, obviously the third one is garbage. Mighty Final Fight was better. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, there were better beat em ups for the time oh, in yeah. my opinion but mm -hmm. yeah this one's a miss yep so what did you pay for werewolf the last warrior so i'm pretty sure that for this one i remember picking this game up at gamestop in gurney mills or like around the gurney mills area god hard to believe like 16 years ago um and i think i paid like 99 cents for this game for this one that's about as high as i would pay yeah so I can tell you right now, before I even tell you what it goes for, it's not worth it. Oh my god, what does it go for? $12.33. No. No. I would go as high as three. Three bucks. Just for the challenge alone. And even then, you don't get much. You don't get much bang for your buck. Three is about as high as I would go, but definitely not twelve thirty-three. This... This would be a, a one of a buy two, get one free, here's your free game. This is a very rare instance for me to say this. But if you are a fan of Marvel Comics... Shut the no, fuck! No, 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 no. <laughs> Specifically the X-Men. 
This might be something that you want to check out just to laugh at. Werewolf if, Nightcrawler. If you are not a fan of X-Men or Marvel Comics, I don't even care what the price is, I would say stay away from this game. There's no reason to play it. There really isn't. There's there's no redeeming quality about this game. It's not good. It's it's not stand out. There's nothing special. Stay away from it. Even if you find it for 99 cents, even if you find it for 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 50 cents, seriously, don't take it. Don't even take it for free. Like it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Uh, I, I mean, you literally play this game if you want a laugh, but I would not for any price recommend this game to anybody. You know what the last game is that we gave a 2-2 two -two for fun? Metal oh. Mech. Oh, was it really? And then before that, Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. Before that, Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. I've been a lot of twos. Before that, Jordan vs. Bird. Jesus Christ. <laughs> before that, Where's Waldo with a 1. Oh where's, before that, Total Recall with a 2. Whoa. Even Home Alone got a three. <laughs> because that was smart as shit AI. That was Dino insane. Dino Wars got a three. Cybernoid got a one. Yeah, I um I don't know what to tell you, buddy. No, it's not it's not worth it at any price to me. Well. Nope. So there you go. Seven for difficulty, two for fun. Not worth a dime. Not worth a dime. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked, if you like Werewolf: The Last Fucking Warrior, for some reason or another, let us know why. Tell us what makes this game sparkle in your eyes. Try to convince me. Try, Try to, convince to convince me what I missed from this game. What I failed to see while we were playing this game. What did I miss didn't that you makes this game so stand out, or that makes it special to you? Didn't you say this game came with like a pack in comic? It did. Maybe, maybe and that would have made more I, sense. Well, and I'm wondering if the comic was produced by Marvel Comics. <laughs> She's such an idiot. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I, I swear to... We're going to look it up afterwards. I'm going to look it up. We'll look it up. I'm going to look it up. But uh, hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Check out PowerTripGaming.tv. It'll take you right to our channel. Check out some other stuff. Watch any other video other than this one, even though you already made it to the end. I'm just going to shut up now. Watch Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. Watch Captain America versus the Avenger or versus Captain America and, and the, the Avengers. Avengers. Watch Silver Surfer. Oh yeah. Watch Silver Surfer was so good. What other comic game do we do? I think that was it. It might have been it at this point. Not that I can remember anyway. Uh, there you go. If you want, check us out on iTunes or Stitcher, the Power Trip Gaming Powercast. Where we talk about a lot of great things. Yes, we do. And we can be calm because we're not playing crappy video games. It's true. Hit it, message us with a topic you'd like us to discuss on the PowerCast at some point. Yes. Maybe a game you'd like us to play. And we'll play it. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. We might, we might be miserable, but at least... A bunch of miserable bastards. Our misery will bring you joy. And that's all we can really do for you. Absolutely. So, next time on Power Trip... We will play something better. Stop it. Just stop. <laughs> stop. But I'm back in human form and useless.